In this video, I'll provide details about programming in general. We all have to deal with certain tasks in our daily lives, most of which we can solve on our own, while the certain complicated ones can be solved with the help of a computer. However, a computer do not understand the common language as it is designed only to understand binary code that is zeros and ones. So we need a computer program that can be written in human readable language, which can then be converted to a computer readable code. Program goes beyond just knowing how to write codes. It requires problem solving skills and involves critical thinking. The first step towards solving any problem is knowing and understanding the problem and then critically breaking it down into a sequence of instructions or smaller computational steps that the computer can execute. Computers are designed to execute what you ask them to do, and they won't understand what you imply by the instructions you have provided. And this is why the solid knowledge about programming language and the ability to understand computer code is of great importance. There are thousands of programming languages, and depending on the problem you want to solve, only certain programming languages can be of use. Python and R seem to be the favorite tools of people from the finance industry. Although Python may be new to some of you, it has been around since late 1980s. It is a powerful computational tool to solve complicated tasks, be it in the field of finance or econometrics or data science or even machine learning. Python has garnered so much interest due to its three unique properties. First, it is an open source programming language. Unlike other programming languages used for solving financial problems such as MATLAB and SAS, Python is freely available. Python has a large and active scientific community with access to the software source code and contributes to its continuous development and upgrading depending on the user's needs. Second, Python works seamlessly across different platforms. It is available for all major operating systems such as Windows, Mac, and Linux. It can also work well with other programming languages. Finally, Python is easy to use and implement, which contributes to its popularity among financial data scientists. Today, banks and financial institutions spend more money on technology than any other industry. Thousands of software developers work in financial industry to maintain existing softwares and to build new ones. Quantitative analysts and engineers in investment banks use Python to build all kinds of models to predict returns and evaluate risks. Python is also used as a web crawler to search for financial news or to estimate investor sentiments. Along with investment banking, Python is also widely used in consumer banks. One such application of Python in consumer banking is to evaluate the credit risk for the loan portfolio. We are living in the era of big data comprising of millions of observations, and in such situations, the computational capabilities of traditional applications, such as Microsoft Excel, becomes insufficient. Python can execute a variety of complex computations much more efficiently. I hope you are as excited as I am for applying Python for solving real-world financial problems. And in the next video, we'll take the first step towards that by learning how to download Python.